Hi, hello. I'm Dr. Uma Lakshmi Premna, consultant medical gastroenterologist at Mehta Hospitals. Today, I'll just give a brief view about burping or regurgitation, as we call it in a medical term. Commonly used, pay, uh, commonly used term by the patients is air pump. That's what they say, and it's a commonly encountered problem in young as well as in the old population. Especially patients, what they complain is they have regurgitation towards certain foods, certain selected foods, and that varies also. Some of them they say that even small normal um, spices, spicy food, or even too much of chocolates, peppermint, all those kind of things itself can produce burp. Some of them say that if they take certain dal varieties, that can produce burp. But burping is not a very heinous thing. First of all, it occurs because of various causes. One is when you have a diaphragm, diaphragmatic irritation that can cause a burp or a regurgitation. Second is when you have acid which is, uh, escapes from the stomach into our esophagus. That is, actually food is supposed to go only from esophagus to stomach. When it goes in the reverse direction, along with food, sometimes even acid also escapes. That, that also produces an irritation and that presents as regurgitation or a burp. So, these conditions usually occur because of so many factors. One is because of anatomical factors. That is, the patient may be having some anatomy which is predisposing to this burp. Commonly, in our terms, we say something called as a hiatus hernia, for example. Hiatus hernia means the gap between the esophagus and the stomach. It is supposed to be slightly tight and there is a particular angle at which it has to be maintained. When it becomes very lax or when the angle is lost, then what happens is there is a reverse flow of the food which presents as a burp or a regurgitation. Burping is a common phenomenon which is encountered. Now what we need to do is how can we correct this? Burping that is regurgitation and heartburn, they are common uh, symptoms of something called as a GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. How can we control this? One is by lifestyle modification. Not wearing very, some people have a habit of wearing too tight clothes that itself can increase the pressure of your stomach. Avoid that. Then even spacing your meals and your sleep, that is you should lie down only after 2-3 to three hours after you have your meals. Then certain foods which can excess, which will increase your burping, that has to be avoided. And you have uh, uh, treatment also options for this. Commonly used are omeprazole, pantoprazole, these kind of medication which reduces your acid. The patient, if, if you have a patient who doesn't respond to any of this lifestyle modification and medication as well, then we have to go for an endoscopy. The, the endoscopy is mainly to find out if the patient has any problem inside which is not corrected. For example, you have a hiatus that may have to be corrected only by surgery.